Graph of Sine Given a function, there are two ways to graph its inverse. First, take A, B points from F and plot them as B, A points on F inverse. Or, second, rotate the graph of F about the line Y is equal to X. We will begin this discussion by finding the inverse of the sine function. This is the graph of f of x is equal to sin x. In order for a function f of x to have an inverse, its graph must be 1 to 1. This can be verified by applying the horizontal line test or HLT. A horizontal line intersects the graph at most once. Clearly, the graph of sin x fails this test. So, how do we define the inverse of sin x? Easily, we merely restrict the domain of sin x to the interval minus pi by 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi by 2. On this interval, the graph does pass the HLT, yet keeps its full range minus 1, 1. Thus, sin inverse x or arc sin x exists. This is not the graph of sin inverse x. It is merely the part of the sin x function that is used to graph the inverse sin function. Let's now discuss some of the properties of arc sin x. First, sin inverse x or arc sin x reverses sin x. That is, if sin pi by 2 is equal to 1, then sin inverse 1 or arc sin 1 is equal to pi by 2. This is true for inverse functions in general. That is, if f of a is equal to b, then f inverse of b is equal to a. Similarly, since sin minus pi by 6 is equal to minus 1 by 2, then arc sin minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus pi by 6.